And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, marketing, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, where our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, and most importantly, we want to engage you to help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Pull out your smartphone, save our hotline number in your phone. At some point, you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. Here's my number. Check out our newly redesigned website, ConsumerQB.com. Tao Leonard did a great job on that and his team, Stephanie, over there with the Web Design Ninja. Check out ConsumerQB.com. Newly redesigned. You can see testimonials. You can see past episodes, videos, live stream, and most importantly, all of our expert contributors. Uh, we have 80-plus show partners now that come on the show, educate, entertain, enlighten, and engage you to help you win and live a better life. And uh, we don't care if you're climbing a corporate ladder or if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work this show's for you we're gonna help you win and we got intelligent talk radio i've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today uh great lineup today let's go around the horn now make our introductions louise harris back in studio owner of last research and editing welcome back in hi it's great to be here i'm going to be talking about marketing and timing of your blogs your press releases and other kinds of posting yeah timing the blogs and the researches carrying it there's a term for that too where it's kind of you're grabbing that that trending term on facebook and twitter jumping on the the bandwagon yeah kind of like that 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 train that's already coming by you're gonna jump on there and you're gonna grab all that momentum that's already accumulated in the public eye uh, so talk about press releases and blogs uh with louise harris also back in studio gary halleck agency owner for we insure Welcome in. Good afternoon, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to uh, talking about, obviously, we just had a big hurricane uh, come through, and I'm going to talk about some of the discounts that uh, and discounts that are available on your insurance policy for the hurricane side, and plus some of the codes and how the codes affect you, and if you should, uh, if it makes sense for you to spend a little money and upgrade your house. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We need to let people know to be proactive now this time of year. It's a great time to get a, a review of what you currently have out there, uh, looking at you know potentially saving some money, but also making sure you have the right coverages, wind versus uh, rising water versus wind coverage, You know, if the roof blows off, all these different things, catastrophic loss from sinkholes or water damage. Uh, we want to make sure you're protected out there. Uh, we're going to help you win uh, with that as well. Gary Halleck, thanks for coming in. Also, thanks, Scott Maurer as well, Director of Business development for advanta ira welcome back in scott hey brandon brandon great to be back uh we talk so much the times i've been here about people using an ira to invest in real estate but there's a lot of other different things you can do so i hope in today's show we can touch on a couple of different uh really unique investments that individuals have made or, or looking to make inside their ira things we've seen things people have brought to us i mean we don't provide investments so it's really what the individual out there and hopefully some of the listeners as well things that they like to invest in uh, we'll talk a little bit about how you do that and, and some of the, the neat things and, and interesting things we've seen. Yeah, I like that. You know, Advanta IRA, buying those alternative assets, being smart with your money. We work hard, uh, very hard nowadays to get our money to accumulate wealth. To you know, So being smart with that money and avoiding taxes legally uh, is something that we're going to talk to you about here today on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to help you win in 80 different categories. We want you to think about this show as the hub of your financial, your real estate, your business, your health wheel. And each spoke extending out represents another one of our preferred partners, our expert contributors, the folks that come on and entertain, educate, and engage you to help you win. Uh, we've had some great call-ins lately, folks looking to clean up their credit, maybe folks looking to get out of a renting position, but into ownership of real estate, uh, estate planning, tax planning, legal advice. We've got four or five different attorneys associated with the show, uh, and we can all help you, you know, with that. So we want to engage you. That's what makes our show different, and that's why we've been on air for almost five years now. Uh, we've been on air helping you in the Tampa Bay market, the Gulf Coast region. 
region. Uh, we're here at 5 o'clock drive time, uh, AM 1380 The Biz. We have our Sunday morning show as well on 102.5 The Bone, uh, one of the largest FM stations in the state going all the way down to Naples, Fort Myers. Uh, also work on Ian Beckel's show as well, 11 to 1 a lot of times on his show. He's a brand ambassador for Platinum MVP Realty. But it's Intelligent Talk Radio. We're going to help you win uh, no matter what you're facing. Let's give a shout out to our restaurant partner, Brio Tuscan Grill. Have you ever eaten at Brio Tuscan Grill at the International Plaza? Excellent food, wonderful service, and a wide variety on the menu. Uh, specials, daily specials. And it's bringing you that Tuscan Country Villa uh, feel to Tampa. And it's a great time to go out and have some fun and entertain uh, any business partners you may have. 2223 Northwest Shore Boulevard in Tampa. Brio Tuscan Grill, go tell them the real estate quarterback sent you, and they're going to hook you up with that free water with lemon. They're going to take care of you every time. All right, we're back in the studio <laughs> helping you win here. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, normally, what we're going to do here, we're going to start off with a little bit of personal development. Omaha! And we talk about, as a published author, professional speaker, our books on Amazon, Become the MVP uh, in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves, and actually partnered up with Ken Shamrock, uh, Des Woodruff. We're taking that into other markets as well, helping other sales professionals nationwide uh, with that model. But uh, we want to talk about slow thinking versus fast thinking. Uh, you think about the speed of life today. You think about decisions that we make sometimes on a whim. Sometimes it's just a natural reaction, a quick decision uh, that we make. And here's a quote from Albert Gray. He says, successful people have developed the habit of doing things that failures don't like to do they don't like them uh, doing them either necessarily but their disliking is subordinate to the strength of their purpose so when you think about living in a reactive response mode whatever you do repeatedly becomes a habit and habits are thousands of times more more likely and more stronger than sheer will alone so a majority of people are acting in a reactive response mode so you think about it a text comes in a tweet comes in we we pull our attention away from the person we're talking to and we look down at our smartphone sometimes we do it on on an accident or it's just a, a natural reaction so we really got to be cognizant of that as as we go through this progression of uh, technology so slow thinking versus fast thinking uh, take the time to develop slow thinking it's going to help you make proper decisions it's going to help you make the correct decisions especially when it's dealing with money relationships uh, contracts those types of things take the time and uh, develop slow thinking versus the fast thinking model and uh, consumer quarterback show here all right we're helping you win louise harris in studio again owner of last research and editing and timing your marketing message is very crucial to your success yes uh and as you know, as a real estate agent, when you uh, list a house, you have to time it in the right play time or you're going to not list, um, they're not going to be as successful. Right. Well, the same with a press release or a blog. Like right now, what's hot is Hurricanes, Harvey and Irma. So right. you, the news editors are looking for stories related to that and people are searching for those words. So. If you are an insurance agent, for example, you would want to write a blog about how to file a claim after a hurricane, or you would want to send a press release that you're there for the, the people and you're doing everything you can to help them rebuild and help them get back on their feet. And if you are a financial person, you may want to write a blog about what the hurricane will do to your investments or how you can protect against the equity breach. Or, Cause that's another thing that's a lot of people are asking about is what is gonna go with happen to my name or my identity because of the Equifax breach. Yeah, that's a big one. Equifax getting breached. That was, uh, if you haven't heard of that, how many, how many people were affected? That's a lot of people. Million. Yeah. 143 million people. Wow. And, and that's supposed to be one of the uh, bureaus that is supposed to be protecting your identity. Oh, yeah. yeah, you yeah. Know, that's, <laughs> that's that's what's crazy about the world we live in now. It's like, you know, the politicians, the the, the lobbyists, you, you know, the things that they do. And then you turn around and you see, OK, well, well why did that stock go up? And then you say, oh, well, they did this bailout over here and those people got extra money from, you know, so when you when you look at it, it's like a shell game, you know, and trying to navigate that right. shell game. But uh, we're talking with Louise Harris here, and she is an expert in the areas of timing press releases and in terms of marketing and uh, helping us with some of our real estate press releases as well. But that's a great point. You know, Equifax breach, credit, uh, the hurricanes. Right. What else? What else is timely right now? What do you see? Well, for October, there is um, fire safety and breast cancer and Halloween. 
So you could do any of those three and probably get uh, success in your marketing. Why is it uh, fire safety? Why, what's Because fi um, October is fire safety month. Okay, so That's, it's just a yes. yeah, calendar but, deal. Right, but it, if the firefighters are always doing something to promote fire safety in October anyway. They have mm -hmm. open houses, they bring people to show their fire engines. They So you'd be linking your marketing to what they're already doing. And that's always a better um, for press releases, especially if you can join with somebody, some other group, because then it makes your press release more powerful. Oh yeah, the multiplier effect, the compound effect, partnering up with a uh, non uh, nonprofit, a charitable organization. We've done things in the past with work done charities, uh, Children's Cancer Center. You know, whenever you can have that synergistic relationship with someone, uh, like like work done does with uh, Habitat for Humanity. You know, right. what 155 homes to date that he's helped uh, single parents gain home ownership through his uh, beautiful charity uh, that he has. So, and it's easier than ever nowadays to find that information with right. the with the access, of course, the internet. Uh, you go on Facebook, you see what's trending. You go on Twitter, what's What's trending on Twitter uh, you can see kind of flush out the the Kardashian stuff and, and get through some of that minutia and go to what really matters and that's what we do on the quarterback show here we're gonna help you win uh, in those areas um, so uh, when we come back more from Louise Harris we got Gary Halleck as well we're gonna talk about hurricane some of the the after effect of these hurricanes what happening you know what's happening in those spaces how can you protect yourself uh, we also have coming up as well Scott Mowry's he's, he's with Advanta IRA we're talking about alternative investments unique investments uh, in in ways that you can legally avoid taxes. Uh, very interesting content coming up. And we also have uh, a couple of hot properties here from Platinum MVP Realty just listed. This is great property here for developers. If you're a developer out there, uh, we'd love to talk to you about 1377 uh, Enniswood Parkway in Palm Harbor. This is five bedrooms, two bath, $500,000 property, 2,400 square feet, 2,496 square feet, but it's on 2.27 acres. We've already got calls from developers that are looking at developing this into uh, seven to 12 potential uh, townhouses or maybe single family homes. So if you're a builder, developer, entrepreneur, 1377 Enniswood Parkway in Palm Harbor is a beautiful opportunity. Also just listed right next to our official hotel partner, the Hotel Zamora. Any of you that know our show have had li listening for a while, uh, we have a great relationship with the Hotels of Mora, Kipton's, the Hotels of Mora on St. Pete Beach. Right down the street from it is 3610 Casablanca Avenue in St. Petersburg Beach, $625,000. This is a beautiful duplex, and you've got three bedrooms, two and one half bath, and it's a rare find right on the beach. Not many properties available down there on beautiful St. Pete Beach. So each side has a uh, two bedroom, one and a half bath opportunity, garage, uh, one car garage as well. So uh, stay with us here, Consumer Quarterback Show. Do not touch that dial, and we're going to give a shout out to the Maids Cleaning service they do a great job cleaning our real estate properties 24 hour 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed by the maids cleaning service they are referred for a reason we'll see you on the other side of the break hey this is grant cardone and you're listening to consumer quarterback show hosted by my friend brandon rhymes do not touch that dial i'll come right through the radio and grab your throat to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com on November 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, your radio and TV stations will participate in the first ever nationwide test.
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, quarterback show, platinum MVP realty, and a top listing agent in Tampa Bay, helping sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. And uh, we are actually offering a free comparable market analysis and a 2.5% listing uh, for the first three listeners that want to engage us today, uh, today only here. 813 670 7372. Call or text 813 670 7372 and submit the form at consumerqb.com. All of our radio. Uh, TV show information, consumerqb.com. And if you're looking to sell, check out platinummvprealty.net. And we're giving a shout out to Signature Massage and Facial Spa, my friend Craig and his team over there. Are you looking for a place to get a massage or a facial at an affordable price, but without having to sign up for membership? Look no further at Signature Massage and Facial Spa. They offer a one-hour Swedish massage for $49.95, always no contracts. Come in early uh, during the early bird hours and you'll receive a $10 off and you'll receive a professional massage at a great price. For those muscles and knots that need extra work, ask about getting a deep tissue or sports massage. And if skincare is what you're looking for, they have amazing facial and microderm packages. Check out Signature Massage and Facial Spa, 11248 West Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa, or give them a call at 813-925-8898. 925-8898 to schedule an appointment. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and you're going to get 10% off of your first service. All right, back here in studio, helping you win in any marketplace. Uh, Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host. We're talking with Louise Harris, owner of Last Research and Editing. We've got Gary Halleck as well coming up as he's an insurance agent, insurance expert here uh, in Tampa Bay with We Insure uh, Lutes. And also coming up as well, Scott Maurer, Director of Business Development, Advanta IRA. All right, Lee, uh, Louise, back to you. Uh, talking about catching these trends, finding out what's happening with these trends, helping a reporter out basically is right. what you're doing when it comes to press releases. Right. And and I do want to mention a, um, they, they call it in the uh, journalism industry that you want to zag when other people are zigging. Yeah. So yes, it's successful if you jump on the bandwagon, but sometimes it's also successful if you completely take a detour because they're so tired of all these other, it happens a lot with politicians. Right. where they're covering elections and they're just so tired of writing every little thing that a politician says. So you send them a press release about something completely different, like, like uh, a uh, charity that is doing something good in the community. Yeah. Then they're, they're going to move away from the um, politician story and pick up yours. Yeah, like the gelatin plunge with the Children's Cancer Center. Right. You, you, you want an opportunity to plunge into thousands of gallons of, of uh, gelatin, you know, or, or something off the wall like that. It's going to be different. But that's right. And and reporters are always looking to be the first of a, a big story. So right. if you can provide that when all this other stuff is going on, that's also a good timing for your press release or your um, blog. Yeah. And it's part of your overall comprehensive marketing plan. You know, if you look at what a lot of companies are doing now, it's, you know, of course, AM, FM radio is still popular, uh, Facebook, social media. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can do it. You know, kind of print advertising is dying somewhat, but specialty magazines, you still want to be in there like Homes and Land Magazine. Uh, we're still in there for our real estate brokerage. Uh, but when you look at a press release, adding a press release into your uh, business, and especially if you're in a, in a financial type of situation or I guess certain categories are going to be different, but... Um, you know, Louise Harris, owner of Last Research and Editing, can definitely help you out with that. And also, uh, coming up in our lightning round, she's going to talk more about you know some of the ways that she can help you as well. Let's shift gears. We're going to talk with Gary Halleck now. We insure Lutz, insurance expert. What are you seeing out there, Gary? Busy, you know, we, busy couple of weeks, I imagine. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, definitely don't wait for uh, getting flood insurance. Uh, most companies have anywhere from a 10 to 30-day wait once the hurricane gets in the box. Uh, you know, I had people calling me literally on Saturday before the hurricane hit on Sunday looking for flood insurance um, and it was just unavailable. Yep. Um, so those are, you know, plan ahead. And one of the things, you know, really insurance is designed for is to help spread your risk of, of what are you willing to risk out of your own pocket in the event of a, a catastrophic loss. Right. Yeah. And, and there's a difference between rising water and, and the effect of the wind. Correct. Yeah. So uh, flood, uh, flood insurance is basically designed, you know, the rain comes down, the ground doesn't absorb it. 
water comes up. I mean, we saw it in Houston. Houston is a great example of flooding where you look across the landscape and the houses are three feet, four feet underwater, or all you see is the roof line. That is definition of flood right there. Um, when the hurricane came through, we saw the blowing where maybe a window got busted out and, and water got blown in. That's not necessarily flood. Uh, again, they can look at storm surge, but that's typically covered under the hurricane uh, portion of your policy. Um, so that, those are some of the differences of it. And then usually the hurricane portion is about 2% of the cost of the home. So most people are looking at a $6,000 deductible. So when you're assessing your loss, a lot of times you want to make sure that it's over what your deductible is before you start following a claim. Um, but right. again, my recommendation is always file a claim, make sure you get in the line, and then you can always uh, pull your claim after the fact. So, Yeah, you know, finding out what is actually covered in the policy, what the premium is, offset versus the uh, deductible. And if you're a renter or even if you live in a condominium association, you want to look at one of those HO6 policies, mm -hmm. right? So in HO6, uh, most condos have what they call a master policy. What that replaces, and if you live in a condo, go touch your wall, the paint, that's yours, and anything else that goes into it. The condo association is required to put the drywall back in, the, uh, the texture on the walls. They don't put the cabinets, the toilets, the flooring, uh, the paint. So all that's covered under the home, uh, the HO6 policy. Wow. Uh, so that's it's kind of a, it's the homeowners that covers the, what I would say, the, the nuts and bolts of your house. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess if you didn't have one, at least you'd have drywall when you came back and your wife could pick out a new cabinet. So yeah, yeah, there you go. Full retail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You want to add something, Scott? Yeah, I just had a question for Gary. One of the things that in the hurricane I was worried about, I, I don't live, I didn't live in a flood zone, so I wasn't worried about water, but screen enclosures uh, for pools or just for patios. I don't, if my when I'm reading that they weren't covered. Well, it depends on how the screen enclosure is. Uh, you know, there's there's two different types of screen enclosures. Some, if mm. you enclose your back porch and it's under the roof line, that's considered usually part of the dwelling, and it's the bird cage, the one that goes out over the pool. Uh, it can either be attached or detached. Some carriers, it's included. Some carriers, it's considered an endorsement uh, for the hurricane side or wind. So, mm. if the wind blows it away and you don't have the endorsement for screen enclosure, uh, you're out of pocket for that. Yeah, and it's it goes back to the old assumption, you know. You know what they say: you make assumptions, right? Right. right. Uh, so when you when you look at these policies, there's a lot to go over. So I, I recommend people come out, sit down with you, get a review, bring a copy of your policy, and sit down and go through it with fine detail because that's what's going to happen is you're going to make assumptions and oh well, the, you know the screen enclosure got blown off. I'm I'm sure we've got that covered, right, honey? Well. <laughs> No, you don't. You know, a lot of times you don't. So, uh, and, and these policies are written by attorneys. So, you know, they're, they're, they're looking out for their insurance uh, company's interest a lot of times. Yeah, and it's funny. I actually read a policy one day and I uh, almost uh, killed myself. Uh, <laughs> attorneys are much better at writing goofy language than I am, but policy always starts with taking everything away. So the first five pages is it covers nothing. And then the next 30 pages is what it adds back into it. Right. Um, so it's, you know, and so I had a client call me and says, nothing's covered. And I said, well, you got to keep reading. And so when you get to page 35, then you actually realize what is actually covered. Yeah. Uh, and, and some policies distinguish between wind and hurricane. So wind may be on the hurricane side or wind may have its own deductible or wind may be on the AOP side. So yep. it may not necessarily be a hurricane, but the damage is caused by wind. So it may be considered part of the hurricane premium. So again, it's reading your policy and understanding exactly, you know, in the event of that claim, What's my deductible going to be? Yeah, absolutely. And, and making sure you have these ducks in a row. Take a copy of it with you. If you do evacuate, put it into, I heard a good one the other day, take it and put it in a Ziploc bag right. and leave it in the dishwasher is what some people were doing. If they didn't have right. a second floor, I guess it has a seal. They said, leave it in the dishwasher. You come back, you've got your stuff there. If you don't have a safe, but. Uh, or, or call your agent interesting. and send you a copy of it. So yeah. that's, I had a lot of those phone calls. I need a copy of my policy. Yeah, copy your passport. Get yeah. out, you know, get uh, out of definitely town. Definitely take your passport and any legal documents is what I would definitely take. Uh, not necessarily the insurance policy other than the name of the carrier, your agent's phone number, um, you know, his business card, definitely have that in your in your bag. You don't necessarily need the whole policy because he will be able to get you another copy of it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, coming into the second half of the show, we got our top songs from movies according to businessinsider.com. Uh, we got some top of the uh, six top songs from movies and we also have our feel good story of the week as well. Meet Frida, the very good girl who saved 50 plus lives. Find out about that and more from our expert contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate program. Stay with us. Don't touch that dial. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. 
Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live. Live it fully and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at ConsumerQB.com. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, quarterback show, platinum MVP realty, former USF football player. I played on the inaugural football team at USF and uh, real excited about the Bulls. Uh, a lot of momentum in Tampa Bay, the Bucks, the Bulls, everything is going good. We got the lightning kicking off. Great time of year for sports fans out there. And of course, you know, with the quarterback show, we're helping people quarterback introductions to all of our expert contributors, 80 plus show partners, people that can help you with real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, marketing, uh, web design, health, uh, you know, so many ways that we can help you. So if you've got something you're pondering and if you've, uh, you know, maybe you get a letter stuck to your door and you don't know how to respond to it, you got a legal action. We've got the solution for you. So we want to Make sure you save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You can call or text that line 24-7-813-670-7372. Also, ConsumerQB.com. That's our website, blog site, a plethora of information at ConsumerQB.com. And if you're in the real estate game, look at PlatinumMVPRealty.net. And we're giving a shout out to Felicia Lacaye with Healthy Gourmet, Gourmet food delivered fresh. It's a meal plan starting at $90 a week, optimal fuel, optimal performance, healthy gourmet, all organic veggies, natural proteins delivered fresh three times a week by Felicia Lacaye. She's the CEO, founder, longtime friend of the program, and it's a great meal delivery service. I love it when Monday, Wednesday, Friday roll around. I've got a great new batch of food here, and I warm it up have great food, gourmet food, and you know what else you have in this world if you don't have your health. So uh, we we're very uh, proud of our partnership with Healthy Gourmet, Felicia Lacaye and her team. All right, in studio today we've got Louise Harris. She's the owner of Last Research and Editing. Uh, we've got Gary Halleck, agency owner with We Insure uh, out of Lutz, and also Scott Mauer, director of business development 
and uh, with Advanta IRA. A couple of good stories coming up for you. We've got our feel-good story of the week, and we also have top songs from movies, according to businessinsider.com. We're going to have our expert contributors guess, uh, see if they can guess these top songs, or and they can name the song or the movie uh, title. All right, so let's go back to Gary here. So, Gary, uh, we had some good talk during the break there, some things that we still want to mention. Uh, you know, down in, uh, I remember Hurricane Andrew back in the day. I was uh, football, I think about sophomore year in high school or something like that. And I remember driving through, we played in the marathon down in the wow. Keys, and we drove right through it. I remember just looking around, seeing the devastation. I'm just flattened uh, homes and everything. It was crazy. Yeah, and in, and in 1994, Miami-Dade actually had some new building codes uh, created to, you know, obviously from the devastation, what was the cause of it, uh, what had, you know, what survived. And so it was called the Florida Building Codes. And in 2002, the statewide, it was, you know, Miami-Dade in 94, uh, statewide in 2002. It was actually March. So if your home was permitted after March of 2002, it was built to the new codes. And there's been reports out here uh, coming out already that two homes sitting side by side, one not built to code, one built to code. The one that wasn't built to code was destroyed. The one that was built to code had minimal damage to it. So we're wow. really starting to see an and. and where was so, that at, Gary? Uh, that was down in the uh, key area in uh, some in uh, Orlando, where they still had a lot of wind damage. Wow! Um, so, and they're actually trying to get some researchers down into the Marathon uh, and Largo to actually see, you know, to truly get uh, exact evidence of what needs to be changed. So sometimes government regulation helps, uh, you know, provide and keep your home. So. You know, not always a big fan of government regulation, but sometimes codes do help us. Yeah, it's a, it, you know, there's good and bad. You know, sometimes right. they overreach. It seems like the pendulum swings, you know. The, whenever it's swinging <laughs> on the wrong side, it's like, wait, you guys went way too far. You know, Dodd-Frank, some of the stuff they required on the mortgage side now is really uh, monotonous. And it, and, it, and it really favors, a lot of times what they do is they favor the big banks, the big right. institutions, you know, the big names. You, I don't have to say them, you know them, but uh, that's that's what happens. You know, your tax dollars at work. But in this case, it's good. They, they, they increase some of the uh, the roofing requirements the the straps hurricane straps different things involved uh there and uh, we got suncoast roofing chuck you know they talk a lot about that as well um so so building codes hurricane andrew uh big changes there so that's that's interesting also i want to mention too we had juan conchero our catering partner uh with catering by the family they've been doing some rescue flights down to the keys through his group uh his uh airline group um on the upwind on the upwind.com really cool story he was on the show last week and he talked about how they've flown um, 15, 20 different flights, back-to-back -back days, multiple days, thousands of pounds of food and, and stuff wow. down to Key West. And it was really uh, interesting, you know, to hear that. And so that's pretty cool when it's, you know, it's touching home and, and some of our partners are helping out with that. It's great. So uh, uh, Gary Halleck there talking about building codes. So in, so building codes are good. Um, what else are you seeing? You know, and uh, one of the big things too is – you know, we've even seen homes built in the 60s that actually qualify for some of these codes. Uh, you know, a lot of people were using hurricane clips and hurricane straps. And basically, it's how is the trusses tied to your home. Right. Uh, so, you know, when you build a masonry home, it's a lot of time easy just to throw that piece of metal in it and wrap it around it. And that's they were, they've been doing it since the 60s. Um, but where we see people not getting the discount is they may have a clip or a strap, but it doesn't meet the nail uh, requirement. So mm. th there is three nails required to be in a clip. Uh, two in a strap with uh, two on one side, one on the other side uh, to qualify for those discounts. Uh, and they'll actually give you a clips uh, discount if you have three nails on your strap on one side. So, mm -hmm. um, and, and really for the most part, there's not a whole lot of difference between a discount between a clip and a strap. Um, but it may make sense to have someone come in. I, I've seen a lot of wind mitts come back with just two nails in it. Uh, hire a company, have them come in and put that third nail in, cost you six or $700. It usually, and again, uh, depends on the size of the house. You usually right. will save it over two or three years. Plus, now you're having the ability that when there is a major storm coming through, you're not losing your roof and you're not having, uh, you know, you're the entire roof come off your house. So, yeah, it, you know, it's peace of mind. Absolutely. A peace of mind. Get a review. Reach out to Gary Halleck, best in the business here. Longtime friend of the program. We insure loots. Uh, we Insure Group is uh, his uh, insurance company and uh, insurance expert uh, here with the show. All right, let's talk with Scott Maurer now, Director of Business Development, Advanta IRA, uh, self-directed IRAs, and uh, you know a way that you can really protect yourself from undue taxes. Yeah, the great thing, Brandon, I think we've we've talked a lot of times about investing in real estate, uh, rentals, rehabs, uh, and doing private lending. The benefit of making these investments inside of your IRA account is that depending on obviously the gains coming back into the account, but you're not going to have any tax consequence at all 
from these investments as you're making them through the IRA. So if you buy a, a property to rehab, maybe you pay 80,000 for it, you put another 20 grand into it to get it fixed up. So your, your IRA has made a total of investment of 100 grand. You turn around and sell that property for 120, 130, maybe $150,000. All of that gain, because this investment was made inside your IRA is tax free to you. It just goes wow. back into the IRA account. Same thing, same principle. If you bought uh, Google stock when Google first you know, had its IPO and, and you, you bought it, it appreciated greatly, you sold it, you didn't have a tax consequence then. The IRS doesn't make any distinction between the Google stock as an asset or real estate. Wow. Or you know, all these other different assets that we see as well. So you'd only get taxed when you take it out at some point. And the idea, the, the theory, the philosophy is wait until your golden years to start taking it out when you're not earning as much money. Correct. Yeah. Most individuals, you know, typically in your, you know, I guess anywhere from your thirties to fifties or sixties, when you're, you're earning, you're going to be in a higher tax bracket, presumably than when you get to age 70 and you start pulling money out of your IRA, your 401k. So for regular IRAs, regular 401ks, you are taxed at that time when you pull it out, but you have the benefit from the time you're, you start putting money into that account, what you're investing it in, that is all growing tax deferred, which means you don't pay taxes each step of the way. It's the power of compounding interest and being able right. to compound your money so much more quickly allows you to grow that account much more quickly. And, and kind of on, a, on an ancillary note, if you have a Roth IRA account, mm -hmm. now Roth IRA as opposed to a regular or IRA or, or a 401k, a Roth IRA is actually a tax free IRA altogether. So if you have a Roth IRA account, you basically elect to pay taxes up front. You make your investments over the course of your lifetime. And when you get to age 60, roughly, you pull that money out of a Roth. It is actually comes out tax free, wow. not, not simply tax deferred, completely tax free. So choosing the right type of uh, IRA account uh, can, you know, obviously can have either tax deferred or, or ultimately a tax free income. Yeah, Scott, it, it makes it important. You know, that's something where, again, you, you want to be proactive. You want to talk to the expert, Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA. He's our expert in this space. Uh, and if you have an affinity towards real estate, you can focus on buying real estate. You can go. Uh, we've talked about some alternative investments. You know, it's uh, the, the, the precious metals. Uh, we've even talked. I, I talked to a gentleman on the phone one time. He's talking about uh, different uh, stud fees with horses and, and uh, John and I with we Beam TV, we're talking about uh, the uh, pigeons, you know, there's, there's a group that, you know, they have expertise in pigeons, you know, the carrier pigeons, who would think it, but any type of alternative asset could be bought through these types of vehicles. Yeah, it, it certainly can. And one of the things Louise mentioned earlier was kind of the, the trending and you know, trending uh, topics, trending investments. So we've seen over the last couple of months, a couple of different things, uh, individuals expressing interest in investing in cryptocurrency. Hmm. Uh, the Bitcoin, oh, Ethereum, right. Right. Uh, you know, placing their IRA into that type of asset. So we, we've helped a couple few, uh, a couple clients wow. use their IRA funds to make that investment. Um, alternatively, you know, we, it's been a pretty big topic nationally over the last uh, couple of years, but it's been medical marijuana. Right. Uh, there are a lot of companies, a lot of states obviously allowing for that now. And there's, there are companies being formed to take advantage of that. Somebody, somebody's going to make money from it, uh, but looking for investors. And we've had a couple of clients use their IRA account to invest in a, into a basically a private business or a private placement that ultimately is, you know, uh, helping to get involved in medical marijuana in some form or fashion. So that's, again, it's, it's a trend that the common theme with all these investments is it's an individual has money in an IRA, mm -hmm. sees the Bitcoin, sees the medical marijuana, sees the, the rehab property as an opportunity right. for investment with a lot of potential gain and the ability to make that investment in their IRA. And again, having that gain either tax deferred or tax free. Yeah, I love that. I love that idea of Bitcoins, PayPal, the, you know, that currency kind of move money moving on uh, off paper and online. It's yep. it's a kind of scary money master the game. I, I, I reference a lot of times with Tony Robbins, money master the game and uh, unshakable. Uh, you know, the other side of this, too, is is a lot of what a lot of people do is they make the mistake of just blindly trusting some investment guy who uh, is a so-called wealth advisor. He may not even be a fiduciary, uh, which means that he's he's getting paid more money to sell you certain products. Uh, so so, so be careful that you're not falling into that category. Uh, reach out to the Consumer Quarterback Show. We'll put you in touch with Scott Maurer, Director of Business and Development with Advanta IRA. He's actually got a webinar going on tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, 12 noon as well. Uh, so reach out for that uh, information, 813-670-7372. And get a review. Find out. Sit down with Scott and uh, you know talk to him about this webinar. Talk to him about what you're currently holding and how you can take advantage of Advanta IRA self-directed IRAs. Uh, 813 670 
888-900-7372. And when we come back, more from our expert contributors here. We're going to go through our top songs according to businessinsider.com, top songs from movies, and also we got our feel-good story of the week. So stay with us. Don't touch that dial. Consumer Quarterback Show consumerqb.com. Hey everybody, I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rhymes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com. to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes online at consumerqb.com brandon is tampa bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice call brandon today at 813-670-7372 all right welcome back thanks for sticking with us brandon rhymes here quarterback show platinum mvp realty hot listing from platinum uh, we've got 14465 Tanglewood Drive in Largo. This is in the Bay Hill subdivision. Beautiful property, and it's a wonderful ranch-style pool home in Largo. 2,600 square feet, four bedrooms, three bath, two-car uh, detached garage. Beautiful property here. On a sits on a hill on a bluff. It's a beautiful property here. Uh, 14465 Tanglewood Drive in Largo. $560,000. Great buying opportunity here in beautiful Tampa Bay. All right, all right. Back here in studio, let's go back to Scott Maurer here. We're talking a little bit about self-directed IRAs and, and ways that you can take control of your financial future, especially when it comes to investment, Scott. You know, there's so much convoluted information, bad information out there, and, and people don't understand that if they're, you know, just trusting, blindly trusting a, a wealth advisor who he, he may not be a fiduciary, he or she may not be a fiduciary, and, and they may be, you know, paying undue fees and percentages it can really eat away at your returns when it's compounded over time so it certainly can and i think one of the most common 
things we hear from somebody they call our office looking for information because you know it's a realtor a cpa or attorney someone gave them our name uh, for what they're looking to do the most common thing we hear is someone says why did i know about this before right why haven't i ever heard about this or uh and then after they've be, be been a client for a number of Come years oh you know, man <laughs> that's what they yeah, say right? exactly <laughs> maybe not maybe not quite like that but uh, <laughs> uh it's a similar vein but then after they become a client for a year or two we've hear that other refrain that finding this was the best thing that ever happened to them right. for, the, for the retirement account because it, it empowered them to do something on their own that to, to find uh you know to, to have the resources to find investments they didn't they weren't relying as you said blindly on right. somebody else who is you know, again uh not to paint with a broad brush but there are, are some advisors who are who are fantastic and they're, and they're great and worth what they get paid there's others that are, are pushing a product you know this month is what they're they're looking to, to sell and so you know whether you, you really have to find out, is that person acting in my best interest? And, and again, our clients, they've come to us. They've decided, I know what's in my best interest. You know, I'm not going to trust the stock market anymore. At least I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket there. I'm going right. to diversify. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, a great way to do it. Um, so Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA can definitely help you there. And uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's have a little fun now. So we do a top 10. We do our, our different guessing games today. We've got to name that tune. So these are songs from movies. So think about some popular movies that we've watched throughout the 80s, throughout the uh, the 90s. I mean, some of these go back a little while, uh, 2000s, maybe even with one, the, one of these here on the list. All right, so we're going to give you the option of the song. You can guess the, the artist, you can guess the song name or the movie title. You guys ready to have some fun? Uh -huh. yeah, All right, let's do it. Here we go. So number one on the list. Here we go. Eye of the Tiger. Got it. You got it, Luis. Eye of the Tiger. Survivor and uh, Rocky. Rocky Three. Rocky, yeah. Rocky Three. Yeah. Boom. Right on point. Wow. Yeah. One of my favorite movies from growing up, man. Rocky. Rocky Four. That's awesome, man. I love that. Great song. All right. You ready? Number two. Uh, Robinson. Got it. Simon and Garfunkel. You got it. And that was what the, I did a little bit before my time, but I think it was The Graduate. The Graduate. Okay. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. We're two for two here. We got the panel. We got the all star panel in here. All right, here we go. Number three. Yeah. What day of the week was it? Saturday Night Fever. That's right. Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> the Bee Gees staying alive. Oh man, that was a popular one right there. Ray that's Parker it. Jr. Ray Parker Jr. That's right. Yeah, that was a good one back in the day, man. Couldn't beat that movie. The song gets stuck in your head. So all these songs get stuck in your head too. All right, here we go. That's uh, Danger Zone. Yeah. Top Gun. Top Gun, Danger Zone. That's right. Who's the artist? Kenny Loggins. That's right, yeah. Kenny Loggins. All right, last one. Here we go. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. That's, that's gotta Mom's be Eminem. Eminem. He's from, uh, eight eight mile. Mile. That's right. Lose yourself in the moment. You own it. That's right. All right, some fun there. So, hey, you guys did great. We didn't have any buzzers at all on that one. Well, the, other, the, other, the other correct answer for staying alive in the Bee Gees was if you've ever seen the movie Airplane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little throwaway scene in Airplane. It was in that in there. Oh, that's such a good movie, too, man. Uh, Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> that was a good one. I was expecting Bodyguard. Bodyguard? Oh, uh, Whitney Houston? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, too. All right, here we go. So we got our feel-good story of the week. Tell me something good. All right. So in the wake of an 8.1 earthquake that hit Mexico, man's best friend has been a lifesaver to many. Uh, her, the hero dog, Frida, has been working extremely hard to rescue people uh, from the recent earthquakes in Mexico. So far, Frida has saved 52 people, including 12 people in life-threatening situations after the 8.1 magnitude earthquake that devastated uh, Mexico. Now she's hard at work again trying to save people trapped in debris after Mexico's second deadly earthquake. In just two weeks, people around the world have been thanking Frida telling her she's been a very good girl while sharing photos of her uh, rescue gear. Even the president of Mexico sent out a tweet thanking Frida for all her hard work. But don't worry, in between her many rescue missions, Frida is getting uh, rest, the uh, well-deserved rest that she deserves. So good story. Dogs, animals can help a lot. You know, you, Gary, I know you work a lot with veterans. Uh, so the, the PTSD, I mean, are you seeing that as well? Yeah, we actually have a couple volunteers bring their dogs in. Uh, now that she said it, I forget the dog's name, but uh, 
l- lady brings a big husky in. It's a beautiful dog. Yeah. And only gets on me when I'm wearing my b- black pants. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we just surprised our daughter with a little um, little dog, man, and a little cute little dog here. I'm going through the potty training stuff, but that's that's a lot of fun. <laughs> but it's a uh, cavapoo, a cavalier, and a poodle mix. So, you know, they mix everything with poodles nowadays, don't they? <laughs> I mean, and it turns out to be a cute dog. What can you do, man? But uh, let's go ahead and jump into our lightning round. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds! I majored in lightning rounds. All right, here we go. Top tips, things to do, things to avoid, nuggets of advice, Louise Harris. Okay, well, I'd like to mention that uh, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary in business this month. Nice. And Congrats. Thank you. And I would, as a thank you to all the... People who have supported me over the years, I am offering a special for new clients, $25 off, first-time services. And I'd also like to say that um, remember when you're doing your marketing to time it correctly, because if you don't time it correctly, you may not be as successful as you could be. Yeah, life's all about timing. I mean, you look at timing in in a lot of different situations. That's a great point, Louise. So $25 off first-time services, Louise Harris, ConsumerQB.com. Submit the form at the website, ConsumerQB.com. All right, Gary Halleck, we insurance. You know, I think think the storm has proven that we need to make sure that we're proactive on our policies. And it's, you know, it's amazing. I see people will switch for $25 or $50 a year where those $50 would have been better spent uh, than the, the thousands they're spending now. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a lot of times they'll get caught by the bait and switch only to find out, oh, well, I lost this coverage. I did, And they don't really know to compare. That's the idea. Sit well, down and get and a like review. Like you said, the language is so it's written by attorneys for attorneys. Um, right. And for the average consumer, they don't understand. And even, you know, I run across agents that don't understand coverages too. So, you know, definitely get an opinion, definitely understand what your coverages and endorsements are on your policy or what's endorsed off. So. Yeah, absolutely. Reach out to Gary Halleck. We insure loots. All right, Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA. Yeah, we, we touched on a little bit earlier. We uh, talking about the huge tax benefits that that either a traditional or a Roth IRA has. So if you come across an investment opportunity before reaching into your savings, your other disposable income you might have to make that investment, consider using your IRA or four hundred one k because just or your Roth. Just because your mm-hmm. financial advisor and your accountant Schwab won't hold it. That's what we do at Advanta, helping you make that investment. Realize this investment, take, you know, use the power of tax deferral or tax-free growth yeah. inside the IRA, the traditional or Roth. Like I said, we have a webinar at noon tomorrow. We're having a guest come on and talk about using your traditional or your Roth for specific investments to have that tax deferred, tax-free growth. Yeah, Albert Einstein, I think, called it the eighth wonder of the world. You hear Tony Robbins talk about it, all these folks that that praise the compounding because you're not you're you're getting multiple returns on that same uh, investment, especially if you're doing it as an annuity or something to where it's uh, every month you're putting in five hundred dollars, you're putting in this amount of dollars. So uh, yeah, you know, great show today. I want to thank all of our expert contributors, all of our team behind the scenes putting together. Uh, John from WeBeam TV, thanks uh, for all you guys do as well. And uh, we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness, something as simple as packing up leftover food you may have, carrying it with you to and from your commute to work. And now more than ever is a great time to be a force for good in the community. Uh, donate your time, some money, some clothing uh, to people in need and, and uh, you know, engage with folks in your community that are doing these types of things. So uh, be a force for good. Thanks to Louise Harris, owner of Last Research and Editing, Gary Halleck, We Insure, uh, Lutz, Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA, and all of our expert contributors, Consumer QB show check out consumerqb.com and platinummvprealty.net if you're thinking about selling real estate we would love to talk to you and we'll see you next time consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813-670-7372 that's 813-670-7372 7372 online at consumerqb.com and join us next time for the consumer quarterback show weekday afternoons at 5 on am 1380 the biz enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco lover's paradise Paddling through the mangroves, where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. The 
because you deserve to relax on vacation. Visit Pasco County, Florida.